Welcome aboard passengers, Mega Sim here. We are on the next episode for the Midland Mainline route coming soon to Train Sim World by Skyhook Games. This is East Midlands Parkway. Cue the intro. Welcome aboard passengers, Megasim. We're at East Midlands Parkway. We're having a look around this lovely station. Um, this was built to be close to the airport, uh, one of the main stations that we have for the upcoming route of Midland Main Line. So we have um, Derby and Nottingham up that way, and down there we've got Leicester and Loughborough and all those other little nice little stations there too. We're going to have some HSTs, as you know, on the Midland Main Line. At the present moment, there is only triple twos and 170s on this East Midlands Railway. But we're going back in time to when we had East Midlands trains, stagecoach with HST Class 43 and the Class 158. So let's walk around this station, look at the platforms, look, tactile paving that we've got there. But yeah, let's have a look around the station. Join me. Come on, let's go. East Midlands Parkway Railway Station. Just located north of Ratcliffe on Saw, right next door to the Ratcliffe Power Station, which is still currently coal powered, one of the main coal powered power stations in the UK. As you know, Leicester to Derby and Nottingham are the north and south stations. It is close to East Villas Airport, but that is four miles, over six kilometres away, without a public transport link. So even though it was kind of built for the airport, it's not really built for the airport, if you know what I mean. Now there was a little shuttle bus that did go from the station to the airport, but it didn't get used, so that pretty much stopped not long afterwards. Now with the history of it, work commenced in 2007, it should have been completed a year later. Um, but it did kind of extend by a couple of months uh, to get built. Now, Midland Main Line were responsible for the project, but in 2006, East Midlands Trains came along, so the responsibility was given to Network Rail. The controversy with this station is that Loughborough and the people in nearby towns voiced their concerns that opening the station would reduce services and trains stopping there in other locations. But as we know, there are fast services from Derby to Leicester, and they do not stop. Um, and the East Villas Parkway services usually stop at uh, Loughborough and also at Long Eaton. So the services are okay. But the only thing is, is that it's not used as much as it should. This was the issue. Not used as much as it should. And people did worry about the bus services to the airport. But as it was not used, Loughborough, Derby, Nottingham, they all have East Midlands Airport bus services. And they're more frequent in getting a bus from East Midlands Parkway to the airport. But it is poorly located um, as it only attracts around a third of the projected annual passengers. But it's still quite a nice station. As you know, most of the parkway stations that are in the UK are kind of built similar to this. Um, if you have a look, there are quite a few Fanning Parkway, Fanning Parkway, I think it's going to be called, near Manstead Airport before that closed, that's coming soon. Anyway, why am I talking about this? We're talking about Midland Main Line. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video, and this is just a good look at how East Midlands Parkway looks nowadays to compare it to the game. 